George Bernard Shaw, he said that, and he quoted, that the man whose history I've read, and far from being the Antichrist, I personally feel he should be called the savior of humanity. Imagine George Bernard Shaw says, and he defends the prophet, that all the people who attacked the prophet and who called him the Antichrist, in fact, in his opinion, he should be called the savior of humanity. And if you read the Encyclopedia Britannica, edition number 11, it says that the most successful of all the religious personalities was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It quotes in the Encyclopedia Britannica, edition number 11, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the most successful of all religious personalities. People lay an allegation that Islam was spread by the sword. And this allegation, the reply to this allegation, is given very clearly and explicitly by Dilesi Oleri in the book Islam at the Crossroad on page number 8. Dilesi Oleri is a very famous historian and he writes that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword, is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. Thomas Carlyle says in the book Hero and Hero Worship, he writes the book The Hero Prophet, and he says Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his hero prophet. And he writes in the book that first you have to get your sword. Every new opinion originates in the mind of one. In one man's head, it dwells alone. One man in the full world. One, one man against all the men. It will do little good that he picks up a sword and propagates it. He should first find his sword. He's talking about the sword of intellect, the sword of love, talking the sword of mercy. La Martin, in the book, The History of the Turk, he writes that if, if the grandeur of design and the pettiness of means and the measure of results are the three criteria for a genius, then there is no man in modern history who can come close than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as I mentioned, and as Allah says in the Quran, Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, it says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ that we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent as a mercy to all the human beings. I would like to end the speech with the quotation of Dr. Adam Pearson. And Dr. Adam Pearson says that people who worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of peace and mercy for humanity, has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born. Wa akhiru dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Imagine Ramakrishna Rao, a Hindu, who is a professor, he takes the help of Hitler and uses his criteria and says the only person in the world who was a genius to fulfill all these criteria and was a leader was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Prophet of Islam.